Oh, okay, there we go. Uh, what's up, guys? GTR again. Good morning, good morgen. Anyway, so blah blah blah. Uh, got day two here of the A and Z qualifiers for the ESL A and Z Championship. Uh, yesterday we saw four players advance to the main stage. Uh, so Unreal, the human player, Seron, the Night Elf player from New Zealand, and then losers bracket we got Trixie who uh, got a forfeit win over Physics and oh, over Say So I should say, and um, Raven Draenor who beat Moonglade uh, off stream because I couldn't get Net Netties up. So uh, if we have a look at the brackets, see who's checked in. So I have 11 players checked in at the moment, so looks like uh, not everyone managed to check in. So we'll probably have a pretty quick qualifier. Let's see who's checked in. Dirtbag, Physics, uh, Glade, Say So, and Sword Puppy. So obviously, so on, uh, the players that already qualified uh, wouldn't be checking in for this. So, so on Real Trixie. Ravenger or and Seron. Oh, yep. So, let's see if we can get into a game. <laughs> By the way, I changed the uh, encoding settings to 900p, 60fps. Um, I felt like there was a bit of lag yesterday in terms of my stream, so I bumped it down a bit. Hopefully that will help. Uh, worst case scenario, I'll just bump it out to 720p tomorrow. And uh, I've also got netties up, so if players in uh, the tournament request to play on netties because Battle.net's lagging, then uh, I can go obsum on netties. Uh, I still got to set up the OBS stuff for it though, but hopefully it shouldn't be too painful. See if uh, one of the players that qualified from yesterday wants to co-cast with me. If not, then uh, all good. Oh, I guess I'll be solo chugging through this tomorrow. I'll have Ash with me. Uh, Monday, I'm not sure how that's going to work out. dropping frames though, so that should be alright. See the brackets up. Mm, not yet.
just waiting for the bracket to generate. Mm, it's not up yet, so still got a uh, bit of waiting to do. Hopefully the uh, sound levels are alright. Just let me know in the chat if uh, they're not. Still waiting for the bracket to be made, not really sure what, uh, why it's not up yet. Alright, so, because we're still waiting for the bracket to uh, show up, uh, I will put it in the intermission screen, and once the bracket comes up, then uh, I'll get back to the screen. So, I'm gonna mute the mic, and...
All right. All right. <laughs> We're back. The bracket's finally up. So, let's look at the bracket right now. Got first round dirtbag Blyo. Sword Puppy versus Jats. Katie Wee versus Say So. Uh, let's do Sword Puppy versus Jats. If Jats is here. I guess not. Uh. Alright, since uh, Jets is MIA, we'll do uh, Katie Weave versus Say So. Might go on Netties though, for this game. Say so, uh, yesterday, playing a really awesome series against uh, Seron. To qual uh, didn't qualify for the main tournament, uh, bowed out one and two, and then he forfeited because he was getting really late. But hopefully, uh, he'll be refreshed and energized for this qualifier. I think he'll, looking at how many people there are, I think he will make it to uh, the top four. They're just doing the vetoes now. So it looks like the map pool for this just three will be Last Refuge, Northern Isles, and Twisted Meadows. Uh, we'll see what the first map will be. Alright. 
in the worst colors as well. Black versus gray. Anyway, let's get into it. Spawning here at the bottom left as the black human is Kid Dweeb. And here at the top right as the white undead is Say So. Say So, uh, bowing out yesterday after a really long series against uh, Seron. But uh, after a night's sleep, he should be uh, energized and ready to take out the bracket today. Uh, let's play is participating in this uh, particular qualifier cup. Uh, a lot of people, well not a lot of people, but a few people, around 5-6 players, didn't check in in time, so uh, we've got a smaller bracket. Stand here, builds here from both players. There's a quick tomb. Let's see if he's going to get the graveyard. Mm, doesn't seem like it. And DK. And AM. So no surprises here. Alright, there's the graveyard. First uh, footy coming out here for Kid Weeb. And the crypt to get those extra ghouls. See if uh, the Acolyte play here from Soso with Scout. Uh, maybe if he can do any sort of like creeping shenanigans with the first camp that Kid Weeb's going to be doing. So the AM is out, Militia coming forward. And, uh, ooh, he's not going to scout the uh, army the going up into Crypt Camp. Attack. He's going to scout a uh, lack of units, though, so probably going to sense uh, he's gone up here, but not before he will get the Tusker. Meanwhile, it looks like Say So going for this particular camp. Ooh, greater mana. Alright. See what Seisu gets from this camp. Gloves of haste. So that good of an item. Help before auto attacks, but that's about it. Alright, I am going to this camp. He's getting uh, his levels quite quickly. Say so slightly behind, but he is also teching and getting the fiends out. No T2 here uh, from uh, Kid Weave. Looks like he might be going for the quick expansion here. Yep, looks like he's going to be creeping this out. And Skeleton going down. Uh, he'll probably scout this out in time. Or probably has a feeling that it's actually happening as the level 2 hits with the Unholy Aura. So it looks like he will be able to clear this uh, camp out before the DK can get there to do any sort of uh, free jack and shenanigans. Are we going to get this round on the DK? Oh no. DK manages to get out. First Fiend here. Try to get some peasant damage if he can. There's a coil onto the first peasant. That will go down, but the level 3 onto the Archmage, level 2 Water Elementals will be doing a lot of damage here on the Say So. Oh, another coil onto the Peasant, barely lives. And is he going to go for it? No. Oh, he actually does go for it with the Skeleton. And look at this Water Elemental just keeping away this DK. This DK has a lot of mana to work with. But it is uh, quite low on health. This expansion's finally uh, coming up. A player's forces are under attack. Has uh, say so. Nearly done with his tier two. Got some skeleton rats here. 
from him as well to get some militia uh, to help clear with these skeletons. Another thing, coming here to join the party, I'll say so. At least just started. Okay, he's actually doing a bit more damage here. Gonna del delay it slightly. See how many cousin kills he can get. These auto attacks onto the uh, crit fiend. Doing a uh, nice work. He might actually get the block here onto the crit fiend with the footy. Oh, he gets it. Nice catch there from KD Weeb. Oh, can he, will he get it surround onto DK? No. DK will get that peasant, and now he'll be running back. But he did lose all of his uh, workers, and he will have to be transferring another worker to that uh, town hall to finish it off, so it's not going to be good. It's going to be delaying his tech as well. He's still stuck on tier 1. And tier 3 onto uh, Seiso. Uh, at this point of the game, I think Seiso will be feeling quite comfy. That lich. Okay, it looks like the lich is just chilling there. Probably waiting for that orb corruption. Oh no. Just waiting for more rods. Oh, and this harass here from the skeleton. <laughs> Tries to kill that uh, peasant before it goes down. A player's forces are under attack. Alright, there's the Nova. No coil though. Ooh, tries to pick up this footy. Doesn't get it though. Looks like it's gonna chase this uh, army away. Oh, there's the Nova onto the footy. That should be one footy. That is level 3 on a Death Knight. Also means level 2 Death Coil. It's got the defense from the, uh, to help the defense from the Fiends, but it's not really doing much. This Lich should be able to kill that footy. And he goes down. He's trying to get the surround here on the DK. Trying everything to, uh, get a surround, but he doesn't get it. DK just doing work. There's a Nova uh, coil onto the Lich to keep it alive slightly. Level 2 as well, so there's the Frost Armor. It's not even. A player's forces are under attack. And it's finally, uh, finally the uh, tier 2. But I'm too late. The statues are out finally for uh, Say So. Tier 3 is just about to complete, which means the uh, Orb of Venom. Is under siege. It means once he gets that uh, Orb onto that Lich, not really much that uh, Kid Weep can do. Are under yeah, these statues are just doing wonders. Should be able to take out this uh, water elemental? Yes, he does. And this footy will die. Okay, so the third hero will be the Pit Lord, so... Looks like Seiso wants to continue putting on that pressure. These footies aren't really, uh, much to, uh, say so for worry about. Alright, here's the Rain of Fire onto the towers. But looks like this, uh, Pit Lord wants to, uh, fight. Okay, more Rain of Fire. Push him away, but these are statues just keeping the sustain of health of say so. So good. Archmage getting very low. Trying to save this uh, fiend, but oh, GG. Alright, so. Quick game one there for say so. Next map will be either Last Refuge or Twisted Meadows. 
We'll see what map it will be. Alright, looks like we're going to be in Last Refuge. Game. Yeah, Seron's going to join me in uh, the chat, uh, sorry, for casting, but uh, looks like he's still away, so... Going to be solo casting for quite a bit. Just the score. All right, second game here of the uh, winners bracket series. Say so, spawning here at the bottom left as the grey undead. Spawning here at the top right as the green human is a uh, kid dweeb. Oh, okay, this is Nettie's version. So, last refuge. Uh, probably we'll see another quick expansion, given uh, this camp likes to get taken uh, quite commonly by humans. But uh, yeah, say so. Just playing a solo game there. changes whatsoever. Got the uh, acolyte, just uh, try and kill this sheep off to get the skulls. AM footy. Got the scouts. Same build orders uh, from both players so far from the previous game. Player's forces are under attack. Oh, will he sack the acolyte to the? No, he's just gonna hide here. Knows there's the threat of the uh, creep camp there, so he doesn't want to waste that footy. Oh, and we got the militia creep. First item, circlet for the archmage. I'm not sure what uh, we'll see. We'll see what the item is here. Ah, central wards. Okay, that will help with our uh, scout. Yeah, no deviations from uh, both players in terms of what they're gonna do for the build orders from the previous game. Got the te quick te uh, tech to tier two. 
Got the quick camp uh, clear out here from his weed. A player's forces are Where under is attack. The DK? Okay, he's trying to do some harassment here. Maybe he can get a steal. He's got a coil uh, stuck in him, but that AM's doing a lot of damage with the auto attacks. Oh, he misses it. Oh, that's a uh, shame for uh, say so there. There's claws as well, so that's gonna be nice for the auto attack. Oh, but can say so come in and steal it? Oh, he doesn't even lose the peasant. Okay, the skeleton kills it. He's trying to auto it, auto this away. Does he want to force a TP? Okay, it just goes away. But Claw, yeah, Claw is so good to uh, uh, help with the auto attacks at this stage of the game. And uh, uh, there's not much of an army that Seiso has. He's only got this DK and it's very low. He's only got one Fiend. And unlike the previous game where K Kid's Weeb was uh, taking relentless pressure from the army of Seiso, uh, he's going to be able to get this base up without losing any peasants. Like maybe he lost like one or two from that previous fight. And this Archmage is so beefy as well. It's got a lot of health. It's got the circlet. Now it's level 3. I think it's time for uh, level 2 water elementals to get some pressure on. He knows that uh, Seiso is in... Uh, the lose the. He knows that he's under pressure. <laughs> Just trying to think what to say there. Yep. So here comes the level three archmage. Level two though onto the DK. Unholy or is going to help it. That oh DK solo is for the TP. Oh one more auto hit and he gets it. DK goes down and <sighs> oh no. This expansion is going to come up. Skeleton's doing a bit of damage, but not might not be enough. DK, just building right now, but the tier 2 is up. He wants to get that Lich out as well. But that DK being revived is going to delay it by quite a bit. Oh, a nice move there for Kid's Weave as well. It doesn't lose the Peasants. Oh, he lost the footy there. Not sure if this has helped delay from to uh, help him get this. One mana stealing as well. What an awesome item to have against the DK and the Lich. Let's see the progress of the DK. Oh, it's not even out yet. These fiends taking way too much damage. A player's forces are under attack. And this Archmage is going to get level 4. This is going to be a solid 2 levels ahead of the DK. Should get this uh, with... Okay, never mind. Just coils it. But having used up that coil, he's not going to have enough mana. You also got to remember who as well. Then Wand of Mana Stealing, so... <laughs> that DK will be hurting for mana. Oh, look at this. Okay, Arcane Vault. It's got the Arcane Tower up to stop from Harass. No Tier 2 yet. That should be coming soon. I think he was so occupied trying to uh, do damage that he didn't uh, get the chance at Tier 2 yet. And finally, the Lich is coming out. But jeez, so late. This stage of the game. Slaughterhouse House as well. Looks like he's trying to do some counter-attack, but not too much success. This water elemental so tanky as well. Doing so much damage at level 2 against these Crypt Fiends. Got the, uh, the scroll of regeneration as well, just healing up those footies. There we go, tier 3. Halls it to dead. So the only advantage that Seiso has at the moment is that he is ahead on uh, tech. Oh man, so many towers, so many farms. Once uh, Kid Weave hits that uh, timing with the uh, casters, gets those rifles out. This uh, Arch Archmage with the level 2 Brilliant Aura as well. 
gonna help keep those uh, castles um mana field. Alright. There's the death on Queen, but this stage of the game I don't think he is too concerned that he's gonna lose his footies. The main source of damage will be the water elementals and the Archmage. He's got the boots of speed as well, just to help to uh, maneuver the horse around. Haha, <laughs> to defend as well. That footy is dead. Yeah, Seisei doing a good job. He's uh, catching up on his DK and his Lich. Uh, early in the game there was a disparity in the levels. There was a two level advantage for the Archmage, but because he hasn't been able to get any sort of creeping done or getting any unit kills, the Archmage is quite behind. Meanwhile, the DK is uh, nearly level 3, Lich is nearly level 2. Frost armor will be very useful for uh, those uh, crit fiends when they fight against the uh, Rifles, if he is going Rifle Caster. Yep, Blacksmith there. T2 is nearly done. And we've got another fight going here. Archmage doing its work with the claws. Might be able to get one more auto with the boots. Yes, he does. Nice work there from k but Oh, the level 3 and the level 2 at the same time from Seiso. Looks like he's got uh, clear level 2. Nice and over there onto the footies. That should be another footman down. He's just trying to kill these... Uh, uh, trying to get the footies down to get some extra experience. And we got the Pit Lord, finally. So, heading tech. He's got more spells to work with with his heroes. And these footies just caught off guard. MK, nearly done. So many towers. Yeah, second barracks, there's rifles. Don't see any uh, arcane sanctums though for casters. Looks like Kidweeb has broken up keep. Attack here from Say So. Brain fire there onto the towers. This MK just chilling. Whoa, oh, he's so uh, occupied just trying to deal, deal with this. I think he's confident in the towers uh, being able to keep him alive. Yep, now he comes back after creeping out of that camp. Alright, let's see if he can take out the statue. The statue goes out. Archmage. Oh, nice block here from the Pitlord, but he's actually got the surround onto uh, the Pitlord to say so. Okay, the MK is finally going to be able to get in. There's a Storm Bolt, but it might be too little too late. <laughs> Does he have another coil onto this Pitlord? No, he doesn't get the coil out in time. Kills the Pitlord. This DK is also forfeit as well. Forces the TP. This uh, is looking really good for K Dweeb. Oh, the Lich! The Lich didn't get out! The Lich was uh, out of the position. And now the Lich dies. Level 5 onto the Archmage as well. Man. It is uh, not looking good for Say So. 5k left here. Hasn't even uh, thought of expanding yet. He is uh, quite behind in his supply. Involve potion onto the AM. And uh, I think he can just uh, creep jack this. And that's what he's going to do. He's going to push the advantage. Take out as many units as he can while his opponent is uh, weak. Looks like the. Yeah, there's a coil with the frost. Uh, Storm bolt, sorry. P2 
Pit Lord coming out as well, so the full gamut of uh, spells available for Say So. Level 2 here. Let's see if he gets the clap. Yes, oh, he's got, he's got Bash. Alright, a couple of footies go down, and uh, oh, TP. Not sure if that was the right move, I reckon he could just ran back. But yeah, just a safe move there. <laughs> this one rifle, <laughs> just trying to take out these two trappers. But uh, yeah, let's see if he wants to get any units from the camp. He's got, uh, okay, he doesn't have that much gold anymore. A player's force is under two, attack. Three, yeah? Well, I don't see, uh... Okay, here come the Inner Sanctums. But we should be seeing the, uh... Orb of Fire... Getting purchased... Soon. Meanwhile, Seiso will be expanding himself. Lot of rifles here from Kid Weeb. Forces are under attack. Yeah, these sanctums are being pumped out, and here comes the Pally. That will help uh, augment this army quite a bit. But yeah, Kid Weeb sensing blood in the water. Cool, but what? See what item drops from here? It was. You can see it. Oh, a claws plus 12. Chuck that on Lich. Got a big tank. Big, big, big truck. Yeah, that Lich is so... Oh my god. Plus 23. There's the Nova. Doesn't really do that much damage, but then... The Rain of Fire. Getting onto these rifles. These rifles actually coming forward. Prob Berserker doing a bit of damage. Pally doing damage as well. Pally actually just here to uh, heal the units. But yeah, there's a lot, bit, bit of mana here left onto the DK, and maybe one more Nova on Lich when he can. Yeah, Pally goes down. Level 5 though, and level 3 Water Elementals, just doing work onto the army, or say so. Another Rain of Fire as well. Yeah, there's a Fire Orb onto the AM and TP, saving those heroes. Yeah, it might be possible that uh, he will be going for this camp now. Attack. He knows that Seiso is quite behind. Look at the supply gas, 78 to 41. Jesus. And he's pumping out these uh, casters as well. Not sure if he is uh, adept yet. No, he hasn't gotten any upgrades at all. Wow, look at the, the uh, undead heroes. 4-4-3 four, four, compared to 5-2-1. Yeah, I feel like he should take out this red camp. There's no reason not to. He's got a considerable army advantage. It looks like just jockey position at the moment. Under Water elemental scouting the uh, a bomb at the cloud. Oh, there's the nova and the rain of fire as well. This should be able to kill. Uh, no, it doesn't kill them off. Just a lot of uh, damage though. Ooh, let's see. Who gets the stormbolt. Gets the stormbolt onto the crit paint. He'll probably keep it alive with the coil if he needs to. Nova onto the uh, water elemental. Keeps the crit friend alive with the coil. It's A bomb. A bomb can't get into the plus disease cloud. Level 2. Pally gets the divine shield. Nice heal onto the MK. Keeps that alive. Stormbolt as well. Taking out this crit fiend. Oh, level 3 MK. Jesus. Now he's catching up on levels. And, uh, is it going to expand here? Oh, DK goes down! DK goes down. 
No more coils. And he did have a TP on it. Is he going to buy it back? Yes, he will. Is he going to TP? Yes, TP. There's no way he can get out of here. The pally just chasing it, though. Oh, the light. GG. Wow. Whoa. Well played there from Kid Weeb. Pushing that early advantage, taking out that DK at the start. And just building upon that. And we got 1-1. One, one. And we got Twisted Meadows. Map that we didn't see at all yesterday. It's going to be great to uh, watch it today. Alright, uh... Hmm? Alright, uh... While this game starts, I will be right back. I need to go to the bathroom. All right, game three. Great game two there from Kid Weeb. Let's see if Seiso can uh, complete this, or Kid Weeb will do the surprise. So this pointing at the bottom right is Seiso. Top right is Kid Weeb. See how this uh, works out for TM. Good thing for <laughs> Kid Weeb is if he wants to go for a quick expansion, he can take this space and uh, say so. We have to loop all the way up to uh, harass it if he wants to. So, AM, DK, very milk toast build from both players, nothing uh, deviating at all. And this Acolyte's gonna scout up, gonna scout the base. Of Kid Weeb, so he'll know quickly that uh, these are going to be the positions. Quick scout tower as well. Perhaps he's scared of, uh, perhaps a uh, Dreadlord harass, if uh, that would be the case, but no Dreadlords at all. It's actually going to be standard build. <laughs> Act like just doing uh, a bit of harass. Not really much to, uh, Worry about. A player's forces are under attack. Oh, this is actually a really interesting uh, creep pool. Oh, let's see if he gets the creep, Jack. No, doesn't go for it. 
felt it felt uh, plus six though, but thankfully the AM does get it. Oh, coil onto the peasant. He might be able to get another one. No, let's get away. Does he? I don't think he got the coil off onto the uh, troll berserker. So a solid one level ahead for the AM. Oh, and the arcane in the tower to stop the skeletons from harassing. Sam's gonna chase his DK away. Meanwhile, we've got the tier 2 tech. Fiend's coming out. Poor say so. No surprises there. And, uh... Yeah, this camp isn't actually cleared out yet. Not sure if he wants to go for this or try and uh, tech up. Yep, Acolyte dying, so that's a bit more XP for the AM. First thing coming out, but we do have... Oh, oh no, is he actually going to take this base? <laughs> Jeez, oh my god, that is such a ballsy move. Let's see if this uh, <laughs> DK will uh, get any last hits off. Okay, he gets the Berserker, it seems. Doesn't have any more mana though for another D uh, coil, so we'll have to run away. Ring a regen. Oh, get in there. Okay, gets the item, thankfully. Oh, more peasants just coming in. Oh man, such a scrappy uh, fight at the moment. DK just trying to get another hit. And he just needs one more kill for the level 2. Get that Naholi, or doesn't get that Ogre. Doesn't get both Ogres. And, oh. Okay, at least he... No! Does he get this person? Yes, he does, and that's a level 2. So, there's the Unholy Aura. Oh, I guess the surround of the DK! That forces the TP. So, a ballsy move that everyone doubted turned out quite well for Kid Weeb. Loses uh, a few peasants in the process, though. Oh, it loses another one, too. <laughs> so, this, this town hall is so delayed. And look at the time that these peasants have to take uh, all their way down here. Tier 2 is done. Lich is done as well. Uh, Lich is starting, rather. Level 3 nearly onto the AM, though, so... With those, uh, level 2 water elementals, he should be able to do a bit more damage. Oh, no! Okay, starts it. So many footies to work with, but, oh, so many skeletons, too. You should move these away, you don't want to lose them. Are under yep, there's the level 3. There's the level 2 water elementals. Oh, will he get this round onto DK? Remember, use that TP earlier. Will he get this round? Okay, goes for the coil to try and kill the peasant. Try to del uh, delay this town hall as much as possible. As long as he delays this, gets the tip 3 up. Double rods. Oh, gets the fence, and this base isn't getting any sort of peasants. Another fiend joins the fight. Tries to do surround on the fiend, but gets away. Nice block there. Oh, the footy nearly blocking. That's it, GG. Oh, what a shame. What a shame. Still uh, questioning why he decided to take that base instead of the one that was further from his opponent's base, but never know. Alright, so, brackets. Right.
bracket. Moonglade versus the winner of Dirtbag, Bly, and A Concises. Looks like Physics versus Sword Poppy or Jats, and Say So versus Handfish. I think Sword Puppy vs. Jats is happening right now, so... Might just do... Say so vs. Handfish? Because I don't think this Moonglade game is going to be happening anytime soon. Loses bracket. Yeah, so this game should be reported. I guess all these games are currently running at the moment. So, just waiting on the vetoes, and then we'll get straight into the game. Alright, so, map videos, say so, videos, Amazonia, and Conceal Hill. Handfish videos, Twisted Meadows, and Northern Isles. So, we'll see what the first map will be. I believe the remaining maps are Echo Isles. Oh, what's the map called? Echo Isles. Uh, was it? Yeah, Echo Isles, Terranus Stand, and Last Refuge. Alright, looks like the first map will be Echo Isles then.
Alright, looks like we're getting to it. Wait for uh, say so again in this game, and then we'll start. Let's see if the bracket got updated at all. So that must be happening right now. All right. Winners, round two. Say so here, the top left. Handfish as the Night Elf. No quick altar as well, so we might be seeing a neutral hero.
So all we're just waiting on is uh, what hero that Handfish decides to go for from the tavern. Could be BM, could be DL, who knows, who knows. Those two will just go DH in this matchup, but I guess not. Uh, ghouls popping out. Comes the wisp to peruse around the tavern until it is ready to build a hero. Or purchase a hero, rather. Actually, I don't know if the, uh, if the first hero is considered a purchase, or... Yeah, let's just call it an acquisition, because you're not actually buying it. But it looks like this acolyte will be scouting that there will be a late altar. So Archer trying to do its best to get that acolyte out of the way, but gets uh, all the scouting he needs. And let's see the countdown. What he will get is a a player's forces are under attack. Pit Lord. Oh, okay. Juicy, juicy. Alright, gloves and haste dropping. Looks like Say so is just gonna be content to uh, creeping out his first camp. Gets the claws plus six. Gonna be good for the auto attacks. And gloves and, yep, gloves of haste. Finish the camp. And quick hunt this hole. This uh, acolyte's gonna be see it though. Players' forces are under attack. Uh, level two on the pit lord, and should be level two on the DK. I like this wisp, just checking out this camp so we can check the uh, creeped out or not. Under Obviously the answer is no. We've got the cleave and the hell of terror. Onto that pit lord. Got another gloves of haste. And he's uh, one fast... Uh, one fast pit lord. Swing away. Let's see if he's getting the huntresses. Okay, there's the huntresses. Let's get it tier 2. Another moon well as well. Got some harassment here. From the DK. Might actually try and block this pit lord so he can't get out, uh, get out, get to the moon wells. And, uh, squeeze, gets an attack off. He'll probably squeeze by and get out. Yep. A player's forces are under attack. A lot of mana there, but... He hasn't been forced to use the Hell Terror at all. It's working with the cleave. Good wisp placement here to scout at the army of Seiso, even though he's just chilling here. First Huntress is out. Or oh, aggro's this camp, so it could be able to. Okay, gets us uh, and snare off onto one of the minions, but there's also a web onto the archer. Ah, archer. This cleave doing so much damage to the creeps, but he wants to be doing damage onto the army of say so. Level three as well should be hitting. One more unit. Best fiends out. And uh, got a Nagi here. Put a second hero. I'll say so. Clears out that Wisp as well, but the Wisp will scout out that it will be a Naga second. 
circlet dropping from this particular camp. And, uh, ooh, okay, ancient. Moving out. Where, uh, it's not producing anything anymore. It's just gonna be working off these three huntresses and two archers. And perhaps he's just moving it closer to his base so he doesn't die. And the law as well, with the tier two. He's got another law, so he's gonna be transitioning from the huntresses to dryads and bears. Might be a solo PL as well. Alright, getting some levels here onto the Naga. It's got the plus six, plus the circlet. So it's going to be hitting uh, quite a bit at this early stage of the game. Yep, so we got tier three coming up. Slaughterhouse for the statues. And we've got the army coming here to intercept the creep of Handfish. We'll see if he actually gets his Huntress. Very low, it's got the, uh, yep, gets coiled. Level 3 there, onto the DK. That's a level 2 coil. It's got the Lightning Shield. Don't want that near your army. A player's forces are under attack. And the AP helping out to defend. But that's uh, some moon juice being used up, and it looks like he's gonna finish out this uh, this camp, finishing the job that he actually started. Uh, looks like Handfish wants to go in again. Will he pick off this uh, crit pain? Well, he's got a coil in him, so probably not. Yep, there's a coil. Purge onto the Pit Lord. And uh, we'll see who gets this Renegade Wizard. As the statue just chills, chilling through, getting in. Got a purchase on the uh, Berserker from Handfish. But the say so, uh, oh, is it gonna live? No, can't, won't live. Yeah, it dies. And he's gonna get this Wizard as well. Ring of Regen, ooh. Dryads are out here though for handfish. Not a good look when uh, you're behind on your pit lord. The Lich is finally out as well. Pick it if you can up that orb of corruption. Uh, looking good for say so at the moment. Speaking of say so, trying to run away from this pit lord. I think once uh, the Lich comes in with this army, gets the orb of corruption as well. Should be able to take a fight with uh, with the army handfish. He's just picking off units left and right. He's got the arrows. He's got the level two as well with the fork lightning. And handfish doesn't really have that much. Claws only uh, initiate level. A player's forces are under attack. A town is under At this stage of the game, you really want your bears to have uh, regen and uh, adept training. Teleportation. A player's forces are under attack. That's their wave. It's Cleave not doing as much damage as uh handfish it wanted. He's going right after this Naga, but with the ring of reach in, it's uh not doing too much. Going for the Lich now, but there's the Nova onto the bear. Bear barely stays alive, and for the most part, uh, Handfish is still in this with uh, the bears. Now a level 2. That was pretty quick. Excuse me as I blow my nose. Ah. 
Okay, sorry about that. It's only level 3 on this, uh, this pit lord. But at least uh, none of Seizo's heroes are level 4. A bomb with the cloud. Nice coil to save it. I'm trying to chase this down, but it looks like uh, it's not going to get in time, even with the roar. Yeah, given it is a solo, uh, a solo pit lord, you can be expected more levels from it. Oh, Temple of the Dam. Right, so I've got the Howl of Terror. Oh yeah, and all with Venom as well in that pit lord. DK just coming here to help block it. This A-bomb might die. Yes, it does. Uh, last tick of the Orb of Venom. But he's not level 4 yet. <laughs> Feels like an eternity that it's been stuck on level 3. Alright, looks like Handfish is coming back here. Oh, look that damage onto the Lich. Nice stuff onto the bear, saves it. Coil onto the Lich. Heals it up from the DK. And, uh, looks like the tide is There's no Riju. He's just busy just trying to camp this, uh, uh, creep this camp. What, what item is this? It's a circlet. Okay, TP's out. It's gonna cut his losses. And, uh... Who, did pick, who picked up the circlet? Unless he got destroyed in the, in the battle. Yep, so rejuves. Pit Lord. Chilling, buying a TP. Unholy Frenzy, such a good spell. Looks like he's finally gonna take out this uh, camp and look to expand. Protection plus three, not the greatest item, but it will help uh, mitigate damage from Hit Lord. And after eternity, it looks like finally level four from Handfish. So we got level two Cleave and level two Howl of Terror. It's also taking the expansion here. Meanwhile, Say so doing creeping of his own. It's gonna take out this uh, camp. Gonna have control of this Goblin Merchant as well to get the items. Looks like it decides not to get anything from it though. Alright, so we got tier 3 versus tier 3. Uh, solo hero versus tri hero. Is under siege. But given it is Echo Isles, there's not many creep camps to uh, go around and creep. Alright, here comes a roar. Goes for the tree. Oh, it doesn't get the coil out in time, so that fiend goes down. Got the Howl of Terror as well, and the cripple. Cripple stops. These bears going forward. Dryads hitting the destroyer and uh, say so has to retreat. Alright, looks like we got round two of this battle. Bears coming in. I don't think it wants to go into that choke, especially with these A bombs. With that disease cloud. Wants a bit more of an open area to work with. There's a necro as well. So we're going to be seeing Cripple and Unholy Frenzy wants to use it. Plus one armor before that, plus one attack. Alright. Alright, here we go. 
lot of damage here onto the Pit Lord. Pit Lord is forced to retreat. Is he going to TP out? He has to TP out. So low. And uh, that's all Saiso wants is to trade. Oh, poor bear. A town is under siege. And uh, this expansion is going to die. Oh, <laughs> that's cute. Saiso is very low on gold. Oh, he's going to pick off this Crypt, uh, crypt Fiend. Looks like he will, unless he gets the coil out in time. Frost Armor won't do much, and that is a level 5 on the Pit Lord. Level 3 Cleave. I reckon he needs some sort of an armor item if he can get it. Okay, looks like he's just going to buy a TP. I feel like if you're going solo hero, um, getting the backpack would be pretty good. Just to add extra items to your army composition. Creeping out this camp. And we're probably going to get a counter attack here from Handfish. Alright, there's the Nova onto one of the bears. The bears will retreat. Coil as well, but it does uh, still stay alive. Cleave, do, uh, trying to do damage here onto the DK, but it's not really doing too much. This uh, Avon Cloud, oh, I'm just doing wonders. This Pork Lightning. Uh, trying to get the bears out of their bear form. Trying to reach you, but it might be too little too late. Just these Avons helping shred through the uh, army. There's an Involve Potion, but I don't think it's going to amount to too much. Another Raw as well. He's going to force the TP. Ah, oh, dies. GG. Whew. <sighs> That was a pretty cool build, but doesn't work out in the end. And uh, say so kicks out game one. Alright, so second map chosen by Handfish will be tearing a stand.
Let's see if there's any games in the loser's bracket. Alright, looks like they're just playing that out right now. Okay, we've got game two of this series. Spawner here at the top left as the undead player is say so. Spawner here at the bottom right, red night elf. Looks like he's gonna go for a, a neutral hero again, and it is handfish. All right, uh, I need to go to the bathroom again, so we're back. Alright, I'm back. Let's see if uh, anything interesting's happened. Oh, we've got the neutral hero. I'm not sure what exactly the hero is going to be. Just have to wait and see. Alright, here comes the wisps. Act like we'll see it. Probably we'll also know it's gonna be neutral hero again. Once this uh, altar gets scouted. Okay, it's gonna be Pit Lord again. So it looks like it's gonna do the same build as the previous game. We'll see how Seiso adapts to it. Uh, probably going to do the same thing since it worked out for him earlier. A player's forces are under attack. All right, so we've got uh, some ghouls here. Okay, it's just going to do lightning creep. Nice potion in greater mana. Okay, so he's also got the Sacrificial Skulls, so probably a quick expansion. Uh, no Graveyard as well, so yeah. So it's going to be a quick expansion. Uh, clears out this camp. Level 2. Is he going to get anything from this camp? No. Yeah. Possibly. Yeah, it's just... Oh, you know, it's just waiting for skeletons. <laughs> One illusion. Gotta creep out this camp. No tier 2 yet uh, from either player. So obviously it's gonna be expansion here. I'm not sure what the plan is for Handfish, whether it's gonna go for expansion or go for tech. The so yeah, quick expansion here from Say So. Ooh, Talisman of Evasion. That'll be nice against the uh, Pit Lord. And he will scout this out though. 
I don't know if you'll, uh, no, I thought you might dispel to get rid of the skeletons, but the skeletons are already, uh, done to use. Yeah, it looks like it's gonna creep this out, and, uh, there's a Hunter's Hall. Adding another Ancient as well, so we've got to see Mass Huntresses to counteract the expansion, as opposed to taking his own expansion, it seems. Or maybe you just take an expansion and just work off tier 1 units. Ooh, pen and energy. Not really the greatest unit to have with the Pit Lord. Yep, there's the tree. Second Ancient. Plant this Ancient as well to get the Huntresses going. Players' forces are under attack. Oh, excuse me. Yep, TK just perusing around. Get some scouting out. Just gonna see this expansion. Hunters Hall will be finished, which means we're gonna be seeing the hunters has come out. I think. Oh, he actually forces to cancel the Tree of Life. Not sure what happened there, but oh god. Probably too occupied trying to take out this camp. Gets a coil to the Archer as well. And uh, can't use that potion at the moment. I uh, uses up all those uh, illusions. Oh, is he at? Oh, could he get us around? I mean, the hitboxes of the Pit Lords are so big. But without the Tree of Life, he's so behind. Now he's taking a tier 2, but also say so is getting tier 2, and he's got this base up and running. Reveal. Will he get another archer? Yes, he does with the coil. Not sure what the purpose of these extra illusions are. Oh, he sells. He sells a lot of things. He's getting a circlet. Just a circlet. Oh, glaive thrower. Gets caught off guard here. Has to run back. Oh, another glaive thrower too. Be nice if you had boots, but I guess not. Yeah, he's gambling for a big push with the glade throwers. Yeah, AP push. Shadow Priest as well for uh, dispel, but oh, it gets. Oh, that was Sesos. Let's get away. Oh, another coil takes out of wisps. Play throw being caught off guard here. And feeds finally coming out. Are under Second crypt to deal with the clay throwers. And here comes uh, the army pushing forward. Oh, another coil onto the wisps. So, not that many wisps here from handfish yet. It's now main uh, transferring. He's actually quite got a bit of lumber. This, uh, this clay throw might actually die. Yep. A player's forces are under attack. Oh, a pit lord of say so of his own. Oh, under another sea. coil as well. Takes out the wisps again. And... Ooh, I thought he might go for the block with the pit lord, but... Oh, looks like this pit lord's gonna get free reign. That's another wisps taken down. Okay, there's the first uh, AP. Howl of Terror. Mitigating a lot of damage here. Both players actually doing Howl of Terror Terrors. Oh man, these kick lay throwers so low. Not looking good here for Handfish. Yeah, getting ghouls out. Get that ghoul in. Get that, uh... 
on Holy Aura. Level 4 though, on to the Kit Lord. But uh, with these ghouls, you should be able to mop this up. Glaive Throwers are uh, still being built, but. Pushing him back. Yep, going back to the blight. Get an extra regen. Oh, so many fiends. So many ghouls as well if you need them, but. Okay, there's our terror. Tries to go after this DK, but the DK does have a TP. Alright, that goes down. Ah, uh, Banshees. A player's forces Tier 3 as well is nearly gonna complete. Slaughterhouse, building those obsidian statues. More Banshees coming. Oh, Hal Terror doesn't actually do much. I only gets those two units. These script feeds. Not uh, affected by the debuff at all. Yeah, it might just take the fight and uh, that's it. So low, but it does have a TP. Oh, the surround on the DK. But, uh, oh, oh no, the splash kills off the. Yeah, GG. GG. So that's, uh, gotta be say so in the winner's semi. Uh, and he'll be playing, yeah, he'll be playing against either Physical Sword Puppy. And then in the other side of the bracket is. I've got a message. Yep, bracket, bracket, bracket. So, it looks like this game's still going on, I'm guessing. So, wanna cast this match. This game's probably just started. This match just finished. And then we've got all these loser matches just uh, waiting on their opponents from the winner's bracket. Alright, let's switch the scene. Uh, gotta mute the mic for a sec. So, just, uh, looks like Moonblade's just waiting on his next match.
Oh, it looks like Sword Puppy and Physics is on Nettie's, so... So, just waiting on... Yep, so they're playing on Netties, and then the winner of that will be playing against Seiso. And then the winner of Egg and Slices vs Dirtbag will be playing against Moonglade, which is the game I want to do next. Alright, just waiting on the next game. Uh, might just go to a uh, quick break screen until we get the next game.
Okay. Uh, so it looks like that series is done. And we've got to figure out who Glade is playing. Alright, so it looks like they're going to play on Netties, so I will uh, join his uh, join the game once that's set up. So, uh, the winner will advance to the round of four. Sorry, the winner will advance to the main tournament. This is a qualifying match. Oh, excuse me. Hopefully, NetEase doesn't shit on me. Or we get this stuff figured out. I guess they're just doing vetoes right now, so just chilling uh, till the game goes up. Alright, so... 
So, looks like Seron's ready to cast with me. So, I'll just call him. Once he confirms who he is. Let's do this. Hello. Hey, mate. hey, how you going? Yeah, not bad. Um, do you have a webcam or anything like that so I can add to the stream or no? I do have a webcam. Um... Yeah, just press the turn on camera and then I can add it. Um, do you have Moonglade on your friends list for NetEase? Uh, yeah, I do. Alright, so you can just join off him, right? Yeah. Uh, so, turn on camera. Yep. Cool. Yeah. And uh, I shall add your cam to the stream. Uh, NetEase. That's not what I want. Transform. Yeah, I'm streaming. Yeah, you can use that. You can't see shit. You can't. Alright, cool. So, we've got your cam up. And, uh, are you just joining right now? Uh, yeah, I'm just logging in. Alright, cool. Okay, maybe I stream without the camera, just because the the wife's in the background. I don't know if she wants to be in the. In the oh, shot. that's that's fine. That's fine. All right, cool. Uh... Uh, what's the password? Is it just one? Uh, I don't know. I just got invited into the game. Oh, okay, there you go. Just, it is just one. Cool. Who who's he playing? Uh, a concisors. He beat Dirtbag. Oh really? Yeah. So wow. the win of this, Cause... yeah, the win of this goes to uh, the main event. Oh, cool. Yeah, because I, I concise this was actually a quite a good um, StarCraft player. Terran. Yeah, yeah, he played uh, Terran. I remember him from back in the day. But I think it's just been grinding on NetEase, I think. So, uh, he lives in New Zealand too, right? It's interesting seeing some of these players play. Because um, I haven't, like a lot of them, especially Dirtbag and um, his brother, there have definitely been some positive surprises. 
Oh yeah, um, uh, his brother beat, uh, he took a game off Say So, which is pretty good. Yeah, I saw that, very impressive. Um, oh, the grid. Uh, it's a bracket. Alright, cool. Okay, got the overlay working. Um, I will need to restart Warcraft 3 booster. So, yeah, it'll be interesting to see what Glade goes for. I think we'll see a Keeper. Um, although it's been quite a late Ancient of War already. I think he's going to do it out of his first Archer. Ah, uh, first Wisp. Yeah, yesterday I saw uh, him playing against Trixie. And it was actually going for Mass Dots. And Trixie didn't really know how to deal with it. Which is really Yeah, annoying. yeah, Trixie's not very good versus Dots. That's one of his weaknesses. Um, Trixie hates versus Elf in general, actually. Who? Oh, so it was Raven Drainer who kicked out Moonglade yesterday, right? Yeah, but to be fair, I think it was like 1am when they played, so I assume a lot of fatigue from both players. They'll probably really sloppy games. I mean, did you go straight to bed after your matches, or...? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was actually quite hard to sleep after that. Um, I get pretty hyped up when I'm playing. So yeah, was... those were some really good games as well, so... Yeah, yeah, me and, me and my brother are pretty um, evenly matched, so it's pretty, pretty tough. So yeah, we've got the Keeper coming out for Moonglade, Blademaster, for Aiken Sizes. Is that how you say it? A I just call him Akon, so... Akon, yeah, Akon's probably easier. It's a pity this is the same time as the Dust League, because it is tomorrow as well. Yeah. They start at the same time, so a lot of the viewers that would be viewing this are actually viewing Dust League instead. Yeah, we had like 30, 35 viewers max yesterday, which is... I was actually quite surprised, uh, given this is only yeah. a qualifier. Yeah, I thought that was great. Um, I mean, I think yesterday was probably as hard as it's going to get uh, for a lot of... Like, all the, all the players are playing it. Yeah, and because there's less players, uh, the bracket should go a bit more quickly. Yeah. So let's have a look at the bracket to see who else is involved right now. Yeah, so Sword Puppy and Physics were playing their matches on Nettie's, and then the winner plays against your brother. Oh, really? So that put Sword Puppy versus Physics, that would be very interesting. Yeah. Very, very interesting. I don't um, know if they're still going, or that's done, or what? Because those, those guys will be very evenly matched. Um, this one here, I mean, I, I would think that uh, Moonglade is probably better than Akon Sizes, but I don't really I don't really know this guy. I haven't seen him play. Yeah, he seems like one of those players that just plays uh, Netties and that's about it. But if he beat Dirtbag, then he has to be pretty good. Yeah, I mean, Dirtbag played great yesterday. Had some great micro. Ma made some very sloppy mistakes, but um, did some very, very good plays as well. Yeah, we've got the Keeper. I've got a Mantle on there, so some extra mana. Yeah, super good items, basically. I, when I'm playing Keeper, those are the best items you can get, really. I mean, maybe a Claws, but I, I think a Circlet's better. Oh yeah, Circlet's a bit more rounded than an item to have. Yeah. You get the two damage. Um, you get the mana and the health. A little bit of armor. It's a very good item. Yeah, got the T2 coming up for Andy. Uh, what's... I'm surprised that uh, we haven't seen too much harassment from Aiken Slices. He's just doing uh, creeping. Like, this is the first time I've seen him in the base. Falls it to cancel yeah. as well. I mean, I, I think that Aiken Slices um, build is actually pretty weak. It's, it's giving the control to Moonglade letting him creeps level 3. Yep. And when he's level 3, I mean, if he plays it like I do, he'll, he'll take down all the grunts of the level 3 keeper. Yeah, forces Moonglade to come back. Oh, okay, there's Windwalk. Doesn't have a dust though. See, one thing how he's, uh, Aiken Sizes is scouting with his grunts to make sure he's not creeping that area. Um, forces are under attack. but he should really have grunts on the other side too. 
Yeah, he knows where this army's. So uh, anyway, he's chasing this blade master. Oh, one just goes down, but Wisp rebuilds it. A lot of the time, versus um, versus orcs that are trying to contain you with keeper, you buy him a staff and you separate your units around the map, and then you staff to your units and then creep camps around the map so that they they can't chase you. Right. If you know what I mean? Yep. Yeah. All right, Spirit Lodge and uh, Shadow Hunter coming out. Yeah. Pretty standard so far. Super standard. Oh, he's actually getting uh, Huntress from the Ancient. I thought he'd just go straight to Talons. Oh no, no, he won't be getting Talons this game. He'll be getting Mass Huntress and Archer, and he'll All be right, trying okay. to put up an put up an expand as well. Right. Um. So yeah, you won't see any dots this game. You should pick up an alchemist second. Yeah. Um, and then put pressure on. Yeah, there's uh, alchemist there. Pressure on, yeah. And then third hero is usually pot him, right? To get the aura, or? Nah, nah, he won't, he won't go tier three. Um, he'll, he'll just stay tier two. Oh, it gets him an angle. Let's see expand. Oh, he blocks his own, uh, blocks his shadow hunter. That yeah. Was close. It was interesting. So, I mean, Aiken Sice has done this pretty good, just being careful. Um, I mean, Moonglade really should stay on him. At, at this point of the game, the goal is to make sure that Shadowhunter doesn't get to level 3. Um, when you get level yeah. 2 Serpent Wards, the matchup really swings in the Orc's favor. At this point, the Night Elf's stronger. Hmm. But it doesn't last long. Yeah, so it's just basically a race against time, I guess. Um, trying to... See who creeps faster, I guess. See if uh, Moonglade can delay that level three. Yeah, norm normally it is. I think Moonglade's going for creeping himself, so he is opening himself up to a timing attack um, if he do if he chooses to expand. But I'll be interested to see whether or not he um, decides to be aggressive. Because they can size is creeping really quite slowly. Norm normally people will um, harass with their Blade Master while they creep with their Shadow Hunter. So you get fast level 3. Yeah, it looks like it's gonna take out this camp and those wards just doing work. Yeah. Mm, Talisman Evasion. It's, it's a pretty good item on the Blade Master, honestly. Mm. Uh. Obviously they could be better. Oh, Glades, uh, Keeper, getting caught off guard. There's the, uh, Purge, slow it down. Maybe we'll get us around with oh, it, but it gets away. Right. So we're nearly gonna see a level 3 Alchemist. Versus 2-1. So Glade is very much ahead right now. Yeah, here's the battle, and... Looks like the Huntress is going for that BM. Slip is on it as well. So it's gonna get away. Live right, Yep. Yeah, e easy, easy. Easy game for Moonblade so far. Hmm. He forced the uh, scroll as well, so. And no, so maybe a couple more units in that Alchemist Speed level three. Yeah. I mean, with, with a level one Shadow Hunter, like all can't really do anything, uh, and and Moonglade hasn't put pressure on uh, Icon sizes, so it's actually Acon. Sorry, um, Acon needs to be really power creeping. Alright, there's level 2 on the Shadow Hunter, so that's two, three, two thirds of the way to that magic level 3. Oh, he's gonna get this Ogre Lord as well, so he's gonna get a good item unless uh, Acon Slices wants to try and jack oh, it. Oh, he looks like he might steal it. Oh no. S see what Acon Slices tried to do there? It was quite smart. Um, where they put their Blade Master inside the, um, inside the creep, so it's really hard to target it because when you click on it, you end up clicking on the creep, um, and so Moonglade managed to entangle it and separate it, but it can actually be quite difficult, especially if you're trying to do it really quickly. Oh man, Acon Slice nearly lost the second sh chamois there. Yeah, that, the was, that was rough. Yeah. That was rough. And his Serpent Ward's not really helping out too. He really needs to focus on leveling up the Shadow Hunter. The Blade Master shouldn't be taking kills right now. Yeah, it should be like just running around, right? Yeah. Oh look, Moonglade has gone tier 3, so it's a slightly different build than what I've seen before. 
Um, oh, he's adding another ancient too. So, so Moon Moonglade likes throwing his own spin on things. Um, it looks like he's not expanding either. He's just gone tier three. Maybe he will pick up a POTM um, because I haven't seen this before. I mean, Glade's a real smart player. Yeah. Obviously, obviously been... I mean, he was the best Australian player for a long time, so... Yeah, he was. Good level 3 attack as well. Yep, Orb of Venom on the Keeper. It's also got the Wand of Mana stealing onto that Alchemist, so uh, sap away some of that mana from the Shadow Hunter thing he needs to. And Aegon's sure. is actually going for this camp at the top left. Yep. He should really be dragging the dragon out, because you can you can put the dragon in a position where he can't heal and you can. So you'll see Moonglade will do it. Let's see what items drop from these uh, red dragons. Yeah, it's going to make quite a big difference. And that blade master really needs to go back. I, I can't stand it being there. Okay, good. Looks yeah, like he's going to get level three on the uh, green blade side, and we'll see what a concise's item will be. Uh, it's going to be a big game please. changer. Yeah, not a great one. Yeah. Not a terrible one. I mean, plus one damage. Does it affect wards? No, it doesn't. So I can. So Akon's going level tick three as well. All right, bit of Barra harass, but it's just going to draw the army back of Akon. So you notice that uh, yeah? Moon Moonglade and Akon both broke fifty supply yep. as well, so they're getting ready for a fight. Um, honestly, I think right now it's very even. I. I I think it's quite tough for Moonglade to engage this army, but we'll see how the micro goes. Yeah, let's see how this late must go. There's the healing spray onto the Huntresses. One Huntress is uh, quite low, but it actually gets out of there. And uh, this oh, Huntress Purge trap. on the Huntress. Yeah, that will go down. Purge on the Alchemist as well. Okay, TP. So there's a bit of waste of purges there, a bit of waste of mana. Um, Moonglade's got quite an impressive army now. The challenge for Glade at this part of the game is just keeping up with the efficiency of the Orc army. Um, that Shadow Hunter, the wards of free units basically, it's kind of like Broodlords, um, and it, it means that their army is incredibly efficient because they get free units. So even if their supply is even, often the Orc has the advantage. But Moonglade's got quite a superior army actually now. Yep, so he's going to take out this space. Um, I guess since he's very upheaved, he's probably thinking about expanding, right? Yeah, I mean, I, I would have honestly thought he would have expanded earlier, so I'm not 100% sure what, what he's going to do. Um, but I know that that army that he has now is, is very, very frightening. Oh, yeah. So, I, I'm not... So, it looks like uh, Akon is going to get Master Shamans. Hmm. I'm surprised he doesn't have a scroll with his army, and Glade's probably getting... Uh, he's probably getting scrolls right now. Yeah, yeah, he should be. Um... Akon really should have put up an expansion as well. Um, uh, he's sending the... peasants over, so it looks like that's going to happen. Yeah. And this is probably not the best time for him to engage, but we'll see how it goes. Healing wave popped, just to top up the army. Ooh, BM, BM. I didn't actually check whether that was a level 1 or a level 2... Um, Serpent Ward, I guess we'll see now. It's level 2. It is level 2? Okay. Yeah, it is level 3. Oh. Oh, a Tangle. GG, maybe? No. That was a horrible army position from though. 
Oh, it forces Shadow Hunt out of the fight, though. Yeah. What is lost, though? Oh my god. It needs to, it needs to be using the Serpent Wards for the Orc. Beam's level 4. Uh, looks like Beam's down. Yep, Beam's down. That'll be... All she wrote. I don't think... Uh, Akon can win this fight now. Yeah. He's got the invol... Uh, Moonglade's got the invols too, so... In the worst case scenario... He should be able to entangle this, right? If it... No. Keep us too slow. I but think uh, the purge, purge should be pretty fast anyway, but I think this is game regardless of what happens. Yeah. Yeah, Shadow Hunt is down in GG. Yep, so that's game one to Moonglade. Well played by Glade. Interesting build as well. Um, maybe it's a new one that I just haven't seen um, that people are doing, or maybe it's Glade's own own twist on things. Mm -hmm. I know I know Glade does like to do his own stuff, so it may very well just be something that he's come up with. Yeah, that was nice. Um, yeah, honestly, I thought we'd see dots from him because I saw him playing dots yesterday. Maybe it's just a build that uh, he was trying to mess around with in the past few days and decide to bring it out. Yeah. Alright, so we're going to LR. Oh, Didn't oh, we play on LR? Or were we playing CH? Uh, I'm not sure. I just got invited to the game. Yeah. The password is just one, I think. Yeah, it is. You guys aren't on lockdown yet, eh, for Corona? Uh, well, we can go outside and stuff, but only, like, supermarkets are open and... Like, the worst thing is that, uh, shopping centres are still open, so... Oh, shit, but, really? Uh, yeah, a lot of, a lot of, um, like, uh, EB games, I know you have EB in New Zealand, but, uh, they broke a street date on a few games because they're scared that lockdown's not gonna, like, um, get those games out on time. True. Yeah. I'm, I'm looking forward to... Are you looking forward to Final Fantasy VII Remake? Yes, yes, I pre-ordered that. But the problem is, the game can, uh, game is planning to come out on Good Friday. And that nothing's open on Good Friday, so... Because I got the Deluxe True. Edition too. What is the Deluxe? Dif what's the difference? Uh, it's got the Steelbook, uh, it's got an art book, I think, and uh, DLC codes. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah. I might get the, that for the DLC codes. I mean, I'm, I'm definitely looking forward to that game. Big oh, time yeah, I sure. The great demo. Yeah, I mean, if everyone's... Uh, Working from home slash in lockdown, you have all the time to play all the games you want. <laughs> yeah, hard. So, this map here is, is I, I feel like a very orc favoured map. Um, I think it's quite hard to expand and it's very easy to, to creep and get lots of items on the Blade Master. Um, and it can be quite hard to creep Jack as well as Night Elf. Night Elf is good at um, when they know where the orc's creeping, they're quite, quite strong when they don't. It's quite hard, and there's a lot of different camps on this map, and there's a lot of good items that the Blade Master can pick up. So it ends up being quite yeah. a tough one. Yeah, it looks like the same heroes. Uh, when you play against Orc, is like between Keeper and DH, is there like a reason why you want to go one or the other? I mean, on maps like um, Amazonia, where they can, if you get keeper they can seem to that you can't really expand and you kind of have to play that tier three strategy that glade just did although i haven't seen that uh you want to go demon hunter I, I i should probably say if it's a map where you can't really expand i'd say demon hunter's better if it's a map where you can easily expand i think keeper's better all right personally this map here like i i think i would never tick it against Hawk. um but yeah 
Because I feel like you can't really expand, but then also Demon Hunter's not that good on it either. So it's like the worst of both worlds. So it'll be interesting to see how Glade plays this. Oh, Claws plus six. Yeah, so Claws is great. Great item on Keep It. I think we're going to have either Blade Master picks up a circlet, sells the TP. A player's force is under attack. May pick up another circlet and a dust from this shop and then go straight for the Night Elf. This can actually be quite frustrating to play against. Yeah, it looks like yeah, there we are. Yeah, so it's, it's, it, it means that basically your Blade Master is level 2 equivalently um, with the, the stat boost from the two circlets. Almost oh level God. 3 actually. These archers take so much damage with the moon. Yeah, yeah. They'll save it. Moonwells will save it, um, but it is. This is quite frustrating. It's the night elf. Oh wow! Oh. See that damage. Oh, nice uh, micro there from Mini Blade. And he's grinding as well. It's actually going to be quite hard for Moonglade to deal with. And then a, a wind walk now would kill that archer, no? All right, there's a uh, uh, trance. See it. You have no entangle because you get trance to, yeah. to start right, so it's it's this can be pretty brutal. It's actually Moonglade's suffering a lot of losses. Are under that blade master, look at that experience, 115. So that's three that's three wisps and an archer. Yeah, and with all these ar that archer dying, it's gonna slow you down the t uh, creeping a lot, right? Yeah, and also the tech. So um, Moonglade probably looking to tech, uh, and now he has to build those three wisps to tech again, which slows him down dramatically. You can see the orc's nearly tier 2, um, and Moonglade hasn't even teched yet. He's yeah. still building wisps. Yeah, and he's also, also spin fortresses. Oh, but look, he's, he's throwing down another ancient, so I don't think he's intending to tech. I think he's going to put, um, with that damage he took, he's probably decided that it's not a good idea to tech anymore, I'm too slow, so I'm going to use Huntress and, and pressure him. Mm. It looks you can see that second of Ancient of War coming up. We may even see a tower push. Okay, we see uh, Aiken Sice is coming up to this camp. Maybe he'll be able to take out one of these crews. Maybe this slow forest roll. No, it looks like just gonna chase him away. Oh. Playing with fire. That trapper ensnares any new units entering the battle. So, just something to, to be aware of. No. See there, so we've got, we've got Moonglade building an Ancient Protector, but it's going to be seen. So he is definitely going for some early pressure. Although oh, Akon still, still hasn't noticed it. <laughs> yeah, Grunts just go by it. Okay, now he sees it. Now he sees it, yeah. The town is under siege. Yeah, Good thing about Keeper Hunts is this is not really that all-in. Like, it's pretty all-in, but it's not super all-in like... It would be for other strategies, just because you can transition to an expo quite well. Yeah, it seems like that will be planned for Moonglade, because he is uh, yeah. eyeing this space at the top. Uh, looks like he's trying to bait this Blade Master in as well. Gets in Tangle. So he doesn't have a dust, so I don't think... Um, I mean, Akon should, yeah, use the salve and then go into Wind Warp. This is quite annoying as, um, for Moonglade, because Moonglade doesn't know whether he can take that creep camp or not. Uh, it looks like Akon will probably steal this as well. Oh no. Interesting decision. Yeah, he's uh, trying to get Shadowhunter up at the moment at south. Yeah. So this, this is this is a lot more um, of the meta and, and what you'd expect in this matchup, where the Blade Master hangs around and the Shadowhunter creeps by itself. So we've got, we see Moonglade putting up an Ancient Protector again. Um, I think that's a decision he was forced into because of the Blade Master, um, but it might be a bit late now. It'll be interesting to see how he how he handles this. Okay, there's a mantle. Good item there for the keeper. Yeah, great, great item. Really good item. Okay, now he's getting tier two, so it looks like he might be timing for tier two with this expansion. Just clear it out first. So I don't, I don't like Akon bringing his Blade Master to this fight, but I think he might just want to get him to level 2. Yeah. I think both are going to get level 2 anyway, so... Yeah. But he really needs that level 3 Shadowhunter ASAP. So Moonglade's going to go do some pressure now with the AP. Maybe expand behind it would be a good idea. We'll see what he does. Looks like he is yeah, going to go expand behind it. Yeah. 
Um, this might actually be quite tough for Akon to stop. Oh, I wouldn't have, I wouldn't have done that. Well, at least he'll take out the Voodoo Lounge, but it's not really that much of a deal for Akon. So Akon's in a pretty tough position right now. Um, can't really engage that army. It looks like Moonglade's done this very well. Oh, he also got the pl uh, quick plus one on the uh, Huntresses as well. So, extra damage. Yep. Th this is an army where upgrades are very, very important. Huntress upgrades are very, very important. Makes a world of difference. Oh, he's going to lose the old tile. I personally would have would have finished the creep camp of his Akon. You need you kind of need access to those mercenaries. A berserker absolutely shreds Huntress, um, and he was going to lose if he's going to lose the stuff anyway. He should do that. Yeah, he's going to lose the lodge, so that's going to stop uh, okay, that training. Trying to take the fight here, but he's not able to pick off any units. Mass repair, just to keep it alive. He wants to get that uh, adept training. So we got Moonglade being quite smart with his AP, he's attacking the Serpent Wards um, and attacking the Shamans as well. Yeah, these couple, gonna... yeah, couple grunts chasing away the Huntresses, but I think damage has been done already. Yeah, I'd, I'd say it's a very tough spot for... Um... Oh! That... Oh, loses his Shammy. No, it's not. Oh, is he gonna oh. lose another chamois? Oh my god. Oh man. So Moon Moonglade did that very well. Um, I mean, it basically co it didn't cost him a heck of a lot. It cost him Moon Juice, one AP, and I think one Huntress. And he killed about four shamans. And his expansion is finally up, so... Yeah, yeah, so it's very, very well played by Moonglade, and he's a definitely put himself in a great position. Attack. Yeah, and there's the Alchemist as well, so there's a healing spray for those Huntresses. But he does go for the... Um... Was it the acid spray first? I th I think that normally you do acid spray, um, but I think that maybe he's going to creep. So maybe he may have got he may have got um may have got healing spray to creep. Uh yeah, I see my overlay he got acid bomb. So oh, you got acid bomb. Oh, okay. So I, I think acid bomb suggested he's going to hit him. Normally you would hit when you get acid bomb, creep when you get um healing spray. Yeah, healing spray. But he's decided to. Throw that to the wind and creep with essence right. It looks like a bit of a lull in action between each other, so. Looks like both players are creeping up. Oh, and there's a level 3 on the Shadow Hunter. He's got Sobe Mask as well, damn. Yeah, that's a great item. So basically, um. The only choice that uh, Akon has is to all in that expansion. Um, are under attack. I'd say that's by far his, his most likely way to win. Um, and so let's set up a perimeter of mass serpent wards. Otherwise, he's just going to go further and further behind. Two base first one. So we'll see what he chooses to do. Wow, that's a really quick level 3 from the Alchemist. Yeah, basically straight away. And that, that um, Book of the Dead is not bad versus army either. Because shamans have to purge each individual skeleton, which can waste a lot of their mana. Looks like another scroll drop in here from the camp of Acorn. Scroll of Beasts, pretty good item for this fight. So we might see Moonglade, uh, it'll be interesting if he defends his expansion or not, he may just opt to kill Akon's base. Yeah, it looks like Akon was positioning to go for that base, but seeing uh, this uh, Voodoo getting attacked just prompts him to go back. Not sure if that was the right decision though. I, I, I definitely don't think it was the right decision, I think he should have gone and hit the expansion. Because now, now he can't really do anything, right? And yeah, this is a bad angle as well to work through. I mean, there are a couple of purges. This Huntress might be going down. Oh, no healing spray. Got a fight going in. Huntress 
barely gets out. Couple purges onto the units of Moonglade, but oh, so much damage. Booker is dead as well. He's got his shaman's place in a real bad position. But you can see that those Serpent Wards just being so cost effective. I mean, killed so much, uh, basically with a, a much smaller army. Yeah, I think I think um, Glade just wanted to bait the scrolls and stuff from Acon Slices, which he did, and then just TP's out. Yeah. Player's forces are under attack. Mm, is he going to go for his red camp? Yeah, looks like it. Looks like he will do, yeah. Oh, he's adding another Ancient, so he's uh, going ham on those Huntresses. Triple Ancient. I feel like uh, Akon's window is very quickly closing if he wants to win this game. Um... Also, oh, Cloak of Flames. <laughs> Um, Glade hasn't broken up keep at all, so he's banking quite a bit. Yeah, so this this is basically his his one shot to, to win. A Akon really needs to win right now, otherwise it's probably not going to happen. Moon Moonglade has the option of just hitting his base and letting his expansion go down with all that bank money. Uh, but we'll see what he decides to do. It looks like, I mean right now it's looking like he's going to just hit his base. Yeah, which I think is the, is the right choice. Yeah. He hasn't even broken up Keep, so he's very, very confident. Alright, so we've got the base race going on. Uh, bit of a repair with the Wisps on the Tree of Life, but uh, these Wisps should be dying soon. That Tree of Life should be going down as well. But, oh, all these burrows. Oh, he's actually going straight for Stronghold. Yeah, yeah, he will. I mean, you can't you can't repair when you're off and you're playing against this. So, I think we may see... A GG here. Will it do enough damage? His army is moving back. Oh, ooh. I know what he's doing. He's being very indecisive. Oh, oh, TP. oh. No, I think that's game over. Yeah, that's it. And he has no money at all. So he basically needs to all in him right now. I, I, if I was him, I would build some towers on Moonglade's base and just go all in. Yeah. Ham, go ham. Um, Moonglade is massing archers. I mean, surely he knows that he has to be in now. And given that he's tier 3, oh yeah, he has the orb. I was just gonna say, like, shouldn't he get an orb by now? So it looks like Moonglade may just go for the base race and just try and eliminate him. Um, it's very hard for the Orc to engage this base. So Mo Moonglade, Moonglade plays very smart. You know, like he, he understands this game very well. Or oh, will he get this around? <laughs> it's invulnerable at the moment, but... Oh, there's a couple purges. Oh, he's going to catch these shammies off guard. Purge, purge, purge. Game over. Yeah. So well played by Moonglade. Yep, GG. Alright, so congrats to Moonglade. He will be joining you in the main tournament. And uh, I will hop on uh, actual Battle.net because I want to see what the next game will be. Cool. I mean, yeah. Alright, so, Glade qualifies. I think Sword Puppy and Say So is happening right now, unless... You know, yeah, the bracket's not telling me anything.
That would have been a good series, Short Sword Puppy versus um, Physics. Yeah, let's see if uh, we can get in on this. Worst case scenario, if they're playing on NetEase, I don't know if they're playing on NetEase or Battle.net. Okay, it will start soon, cool. Like, how's your ping to uh, NetEase? Uh, I get around 200. Okay, so playable. Yeah, definitely playable. Um, that physics sword puppy series would have been very intense. Okay, it looks like they're going on uh, Nettie's. Uh, okay. So I'll add him. Interesting, they decide Nettie's over Battle.net. I think I think Battle.net is probably more smooth or smoother. I was getting quite I was quite spiky yesterday when I was playing. On yeah, Nettie's. apparently today is a bit better. But um, if they want to play on Nettie's, then let them play on Nettie's, I guess. All right, I've added. I mean, I think we're going to get a lot of a lot of qualifying people that are qualifying. I mean, I think today is, is, is going to be reasonably tough, but I think tomorrow is, is going to be quite easy, and I think Monday is yeah. definitely going to be a lot easier. A yeah. lot easier. Monday is going to be, like, the easiest day. And yeah, yeah. By, by far, I think. I think tomorrow may still be quite hard. You know, I know um, Bump Time has decided that he's going to play tomorrow, so hopefully we'll see him play some games, and he's pretty good. Also, um, yeah, there's also a couple of people that miss check-ins, so... Yeah, 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 and and I think he's one of those people. Well, he is one of those people. So it'll be interesting to see a few of those people that missed it, how they do. Yeah, so if I look at, yeah, Bump Time, Fijino, Cowboy, and Lens, they missed the check-in today, so they'll be playing tomorrow. Yeah. Wavy wasn't here as well, so he should be playing tomorrow. He did all right against Moonglade, but tell you was a... I thought I thought um, Wavy played really quite well as well. Mm. While looking at him play versus Moonglade, I thought he did quite well. I didn't even know who he was, but yeah, I thought he. I thought I've actually been quite um, impressed with a lot of the play coming out of Oceania. You know, it's it's good to see. Yeah. I mean, I'm relatively new to the scene, I guess, but uh, I figured like. The, if there's an ANZ tournament and there's no casters for it, then what's the point of running it? So I decided yeah. to put my ring in the hat. No, it's, it's good that you cast it. It's good. Yeah. And once the um, main tournament starts, uh, hopefully uh, ESL pick me up to do cast for it because, I mean, I live in the area where the studio is, so I can easily get there. Yeah, that would be cool. And I think Sinister also lives in Sydney, is that correct? I'm not actually sure. I know Sinister's pretty big in the community, but I don't know where yeah. he lives. But uh, I guess pending like coronavirus and stuff, who knows what's going to happen. But like uh, they have been doing their CSGO cast with um, their casters in the studio, so... Interesting. So this game hasn't started yet, has it? No, no it doesn't look like it. Let's be a moment.
So actually I've got some other players as well, like Cowboy that didn't didn't play. Um, and it would have been cool to see him play today. Has Sword Puppy not registered as result, or Physics not registered as result? Yeah, that's what I'm wondering as well, because it's going to hold up um, reporting the bracket and stuff. It looks like they, they have now. Um, okay, that's yeah, good. It's physics in the lower bracket. That would have been a cool series, actually. Yeah, so in the losers bracket, we've got Paz versus the winner of Dirtbag and KD Weeb, which I believe they're playing on LAN. <laughs> those then, guys, those guys are brothers as yeah, well. Yeah, they which are. Is really, really quite funny. Yeah. And, and and yeah, it's been, it's been a good surprise seeing them play. They've been played really well. And then Handfish versus Blyo, and then the winner of that will be playing against Physics. So we got uh, after this series, we've still got a few games in the um, losers bracket to go through. Yeah, and it'll be fun to follow physics as well. He, um, you know, used to be a really good player. He still is obviously good. Yeah, most likely it'll probably be uh, physics against Akon. And then in the uh, other side, it'll probably be... Hmm. It'll be the loser of this versus um, probably Paz. I'm not sure. It'll be interesting to see Paz... Um, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. So the, you have to win that lower bracket, right? Uh, you actually you have just to play the last one. So yeah, you yeah, actually yeah. have to just go through to round two, round of two, one. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's right. Because it's top four of the whole tournament. If I was going to guess, I would say we'll see physics and oh man, I, it's, it's like dirtbag, KD, K Dweeb, and Paz. It's all it's all all very similar. I, I did see Paz beat K Dweeb quite convincingly, um, but I don't know what that means because Cage Weave I think has been playing pretty damn well yeah um I was gonna say uh someone that we should be seeing either tomorrow or the next day sweet he didn't show up because he lives in Perth so the tournament starts like like 9am 8am for him for the weekend ones so it's too early yeah but he, he's a good player as well and he's been he's been putting up some pretty solid performances he, he may be relying on the Monday one the Monday 10 o'clock one then yeah, actually, I think it's Monday, uh, six p.m. Yeah, t ten for ten for New Zealand. Oh yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> All right, we've got the invite. Sorry, actually, eight p.m. My bad. <laughs> okay, we do. So it'll be interesting to see what race say so goes. I know he's pretty confident versus said saw puppy is orc. It looks like he's gone random. random. Interesting. So Seiso's verse undead is probably um, very solid with all of his races, apart from um, I think undead is probably his weakest. Undead mirror. Yeah, he did play uh, random against Dirtbag, and he won that series. Yeah, yeah. I think I think he prefers going random versus undead than going um, picking a race, just because his mirror is, is his weakest matchup. It looks like we've got a undead versus orc. All right, so this morning at the top right is the teal undead sword puppy, and here at the bottom left is say so as random orc. And when you're playing um, undead against random, I guess the safest thing would just to be go uh, Ted Fiends, right? That's right. Yeah, yeah. Ted Fiends is a pretty reliable build against every race, um, and I honestly think that sword puppy's build would be the exact same if you thought he was orc or not. Yeah. The one thing that gets it gets funny is I know Sword Puppy likes a fast expand on this map against Org, um, and he won't be doing it because he won't. I don't, I don't think he would fast expand versus human, say, or versus undead. Um, so it's a bit of a gamble, and I, th I think that might throw off his build order a little bit. We'll see how it goes, though. Right. And uh, Orc is against undead, 
any reason to go Farseer first, or I'd usually just Blade Master. I, I personally like Farseer. Um, I think Seiso likes Farseer too. Both heroes are viable, so yeah, Seiso's going Farseer. Um, both heroes are pretty viable. It, it, it depends what kind of orc you want to be. Um, I think Seiso generally goes pretty um, unit heavy, like lots of masses of units, and just basically tries to creep and get a big army and expand. A lot of orcs like to run around with their blade master while they're creeping their shadow hunter, and they tick straight to tier three. They expand with a um, a mini great hall. Seiso doesn't play that style. Um, he likes to just basically expand quite early and then try and mass units. Yeah. So TTC second, rather than a shadow hunter, um, and then I mean very similar to how he played against. Um, our mate, what's his name? The undead player yesterday. Dirtbag. Dirtbag, yeah. He needs to change his ID. <laughs> Dirtbag is such a random name. Alright, there's the uh, wolves. Gonna chase the Akko away. Freak this out. A player's forces are under and, attack. uh, yeah, stock standard from both players. Yep. We'll see how Sword Puppy reacts now knowing he's Orc. It's actually pretty interesting how far that Rock Golem ran out. That might be a, a, a trick to abuse it. Maybe you could pull it out and then surround it. Yep, so Ring of Protection on the DK, Gloves on the Farseer. So the Ring of Protection is actually quite a good item on the DK. Um, a lot of heroes it's not a great item, but I don't mind it on the DK. And since they buffed it, it used to be Ring plus 2, now it's Ring plus 3. It's actually not too bad. Obviously you'd prefer a, um, a circlet, but... Yeah, of course. <laughs> the circlet or the claws are like the Holy Grail. Yeah. For early game though, um, it's actually better having a ring than a, a, a claws on the DK. Obviously, when your lich pops out, you'd much rather have a claws and just swatch it over. But yeah, click a shadow is dropped to Farseer. Not a great item. Mm. So far, Saw Puppy's got two pretty good defensive items. He's got the armor and the the health, a little bit of damage as well. A player's forces are under attack. So it looks like Seiso is going for an early level three. It'll be interesting to see whether he opts to expand uh, with the level three Farseer or harass with it. My guess would be expand, but uh, I'm not sure. Oh, so hard to see his army on the map. <laughs> it's it's actually kind of abusive. Like I, I think going these colors is kind of shit. I mean, I guess if you're playing with these colors, you can always just do the uh, green versus red. But yeah, you, we can't change you that. You can. But I, I I also don't think that's oh, like if cool. if I want to go yellow, it's kind of annoying that I can't if um someone decides to go to a color like that. So it looks like Seiso is gonna be harassing him with the level 3 Farseer um, and he's going to be able to stop Saw Puppy getting level 3 well it still needs to get... okay there he is yeah yeah good timing get level oh. 2 wolves so this will prevent Saw Puppy from being able to get to level 3 um, obviously the, the, the fountain for Orc is great he can um, heal up very easily. Alright, coils it. Keeps it alive. Seiso's being very conservative with his mana. No random chain lightnings or anything like that. Yeah, because I, I, I think he plans to stay here for a while, right? Um, he'll get out his TC and then he'll start creeping with it. And he really wants his Farseer just to be hanging around Sword Puppy for quite a while. Um, so he needs to conserve mana. So I think what we'll see, we'll see the TC creep out the expansion and then um, Seiso will put up an expand. Um, and basically he'll keep the Farseer on um, the, the Death Knight the whole time, just so Sword Puppy can't creep very quickly. Alright, so actually we've got double bestiaries here from uh, Seiso. Wants to get those uh, raiders out, I'm guessing. Yeah, I'd say it'd be raiders. I mean, it could be wyvern, but I'd say what raiders is probably a bit mm. of it. I think against the uh, undead, like the crypt fiends have ensnare, right? So those wyverns gonna get uh, taken down. 
What can happen though is is when you get a level three TC and you stomp, you can actually kill so many wyverns before they can um, do anything that you can almost just like win the game right then and there. So say so is really annoying, Sword Puppy. Um, Sword Puppy hasn't managed to get any experience. Oh, and then he lost the fiend. Sword Puppy hasn't managed to get any experience since the Farsi has been chasing him. And see, so we see Seiso creeping his Tauren and he's going to put up an expansion. Um, it looks like he's going to be probably getting raiders as well. Yeah, he is. A player's are under oh. He's probably going to get this fiend. It's a, another big loss for Sword Puppy. Sword Puppy's in a very tough position now. So he's still got a level 2 hero. He's lost two fiends to this harass and... Seiso has gone and expanded and he's creeping Ooh, his tour. Oh, the uh, Nova onto the fast here. He gets away though. Yeah. See, Seiso's um, really conservation cool. of mana has meant yeah. that he's, his fast has just hung around for so long. Saw Puppy's still level 2 on his hero. Um, pretty devastating, really. And now with the Raiders out, uh, Seiso can keep up the pressure if he wants, which it looks like he's going to choose to do. Yep, so uh, TT. Yep, sorry, yeah. go on. Yeah, yeah, I was just going to say, I mean, in, in Saw Puppy's position, it's real hard to know what to do, because you know that they're expanding, but you also know that they can kill you in a fight, so you're like, well, what the fuck am I supposed to, how am I supposed to win this? Ah, oh, TPs. Yeah, because he can't engage that fight. Yeah. It's a very, it's a, it's a tough position to be in for, for Undead, very tough. Some would say Ember. <laughs> Town is under siege. Mm, the golem's going quite a bit uh, far, <laughs> but yeah, uh, yes. so we'll see what Saw Puppy decides to do. The the orb is a big power spike, right? So he's Suddenly, Saw Puppy's got quite a lot more power. Um, but I still don't think he's confident to take down Say So. Although, now might be the time to see how it's going to go. Say So should just ensnare this and surround it, eh? Look how far out it is. Nah, he is going to. Yeah. Should be able to kill it in time. Unless yeah, he wants to. Oh, does he switch one it? Not that uh, yet. Didn't get it. So Saw Puppy's level 3 now. Um, I think Say So ideally would like a level 3 TC here, but. So we've got the nuke. Oh, swap the TP onto the uh, TC. So well played by Say So. I think we'll see a dead fiend here. No, nice stomp. Probably gonna see a Crypt Fiend uh, die, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I think we'll see another Crypt Fiend die as well. Although, no. Say so, I think went back and decided to heal. Ooh, the Grunt blocking the radar. But now Say so's got an expansion up, he's going to tier 3, um, and he's got 10 more supplies. So it's a very tough position Please to be in as the Undead. Because um, you. Oh, Dreadlord. For the sleep, I guess. Yeah, I think it'll be to sleep the TC as it comes for a stomp. A lot of people do that with Dread Dark Ranger Silence as well. Had Dirtbag do it quite yesterday very effectively versus Say So. Looks like Saw Puppy's gonna go for the surround of the Ogre Lord. Yep, meanwhile, Say So is gonna take out this uh, Goblin Lab prick camp. And we'll see what item drops from this Overlord. Oh, awesome battle oh, drops. You, wow. Juicy, juicy. <laughs> Super juicy. I mean, it's like every single um, one of your units picks up a claws. Like, it's so fucking good. Everyone's plus three damage. Plus three to four. Please so good. Awesome. 
I'm pretty sure it's better than having each one of your units upgraded once. Like, it's pretty insane. You'll see that Say So's broken up keep. Yep. Um, oh, he's also got that one coda as well for the aura. Yeah. In Vol Potion as well. For the TC. It, it, so often people get an invisibility potion for the TC as well, so. That stomp that comes, the first one, you don't see it coming. Yeah, does... Surely Short Sword Puppy knows about this base at the bottom, right? Oh, he's sending uh, skeletons over. Yeah, skeletons and goals. No, he, no, he does know about it. He scouted it earlier. But there's not much he can do about it, you know? Um, part of the hardness with this matchup is... By the time you can mess with their expo... I've had the expo for such a long time, they have a huge army. Are under um, it can make the matchup very hard for oh, the undead. Yeah, it looks like Sword Puppy wanted to go for that fountain base, but with this counter attack. Oh, straight into the army of Seiso. The T picking. Oh, there's a sleep oh. to the TC. It's around on the DL though, and the TP's out. Very effective though. Sword Puppy managed to get the Kodo and the TP. Uh, oh, well, actually, he's picked, Seiso picks off three raiders. He TP'd to his expo. So it's really quite smart of him. So I wonder if we'll have Seiso pick up a third hero. Um, player's forces are does not attack. like it at the moment. So, Sword Puppy's gonna have to play out of his mind if he wants to win it from this point. <laughs> very, very hard. Very, very hard. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's a sacrificial pit, just to get those shades out. Yep. I wonder if he's going to choose to go Frostworms, like, that wouldn't be unheard of at this, at this point. Uh, looks like Sacer's going for the Red Drake, gets the Ensnare off. Nice job, uh, just isolating it. Oh, it goes back. So since it's level 6, the Ensnare lasts for hardly any time at all. It lasts the same amount of time it lasts on a hero. It looks like, yeah, it looks like both of them are going for the big red camp. Boots plus 6. That's a horrible, horrible item that'll be solved. <laughs> Thanks Aso selling it right away. Uh, oh, and Stormwind, very good item, very, very good item. So Sword Puppy actually has two, probably two of the best items you can get um, in competitive. Yeah, uh, when you stack that with the Frost Armor as well, stuff's not going to go down really quickly. Oh dude, that's insane. Two bonus armor, it's crazy. It's Like he probably has the two best auras right now. Maybe Endurance would be better, but it's pretty, pretty close. Oh, he's TPing back to uh, help defend. So you should nuke that raider, at least. Sleep, sleep. Alright, there we go. He does have involved pressure if he needs to use it. Yeah, but... no, he, should, he definitely shouldn't surround, that was good. But he was going to try to surround that for a moment, I was like, that's super greedy. Got an involved potion, and that stomp will just wreck you. So, say so's at 77 supply, Sword Puppy's at 50. Um, very, very tough spot for Sword Puppy. Luckily for him, the map has creeped out now, so Seiso can't really get any stronger than he is. Um, and he's got some great items. If you're Sword Puppy, um, you really want to be sitting on your base and just staying and building up gold and building an army up and trying to defend from your base. Because Sword Puppy's getting 10 gold per tick, Seiso's only getting 14. So it's even though he's got the expansion, it doesn't have that much of a resource advantage while he's in low upkeep versus no upkeep. Oh, there's one more camp. <laughs> looks like he's taken that. Yep. It looks like uh, Sword Puppy's gonna run down and uh, try and take this base out. Yeah, I, I think that he'll TP right away. So my my guess is that he'll just try and nuke some of the peasants and then and then as soon as Seiso TPs, he'll run. Oh, he's going for just the hall at the moment. Looks like it, yeah. I mean, he's hiding those peasants in the burrow. And it looks like it's just going to be a trade. To so place chicken first. Oh, there's no narrow tower as well, so these walls just stopping the mining. 
Alright, there's the TP, and we'll we see a TP from Say So. Or oh, Chain Lightning as well. Oh, he actually gets the. Uh, t the... Oh, wow. Yeah, the Necropolis. That's super over now. <laughs> yeah. That's super over. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, so this is the last ditch effort from Sword Puppy, I guess. Yeah, when, you, when you've when you got 46 supply and your opponent's got 80 and he's got higher heroes than you. Uh, he's got 333 actually, so it's probably a bit higher. It's You're in a bit of trouble. So he hasn't picked up Berserker strength on his... Um... Oh, he's taking his oh, middle yeah. base as well. <coughs> so this is probably going to be a bit of a walkover. <laughs> Unless, even if uh, Saw Puppy was 120 at the moment, I don't think he can win that fight. Yeah, just way too many units here. Just way, way too many. And all his units are locked down and snared. Um, and it's only getting worse for him. So say so did lose a Wyvern and a Raider then. Um, more than I thought he would have, but... All these units Sword Puppy can't replace. He only has one Acolyte on his mind. Yep, looks like say so. Positioning to go for the kill. There's like no unit here for Sword Puppy, it's crazy. Yeah, I mean, Sword, Sword Puppy really should just have left. <laughs> yeah. I, I understand his sentiment though, like sometimes you, you want to fight to the end, you know, like why not? <laughs> but this is like in StarCraft when someone has 200 supply and their opponent has 75. <laughs> it's just like... They're, they're like just floating the command center, <laughs> just waiting for you to kill them. Yeah, there's no way that Saw Puppy can possibly win. If Saw Puppy wins, it'll be game of the year. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think you physically have to like remove Say So from his computer for Saw Puppy to win, and even then, yeah. it'll just auto attack. <laughs> yeah. All right, so oh, taking advantage of the Hell Fountain, might as well. Might as well, yeah. I mean, Seiso's in a funny position because he's like, well, the only possible chance he can lose, which is very almost zero, is that he attacks into his base and somehow loses his whole army. And so now he's thinking, well, do I just take all the expansions in the bat and then just wait for Sword Puppy to mine out, or what do I do? I mean, it, I makes, first... you know, it makes sense for him just to stack scrolls and stuff, right? Yeah, yeah. I, 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 th I think it's not like. It's, it's that thing that Artosis would always say, you know, like, when you're ahead, get more ahead. Yeah. Um, and he can always just expand again. He could literally take Soul Puppy's natural, and, and there's nothing Soul Puppy can do about it. Yeah, it looks like you might want to pick up a uh, speed scroll. No. Just chilling. Oh, maybe uh, get a Orb of Lightning? Nope. Just a lot of scrolls. A player's forces are yeah, attacked. I mean... Uh... If I was him, I'd just get a tiny... If he wants to play this containment game, I'd just get a tiny Great Hall and just expand up the top. And then get some towers and boom, you've got the whole map. <laughs> like... Saw Puppy can't do a thing. Looks like he's getting a Spirit Lodge as well, so he might want to be bringing out some Shamans. And he only has three guys on his, um... On his main mine, so he's just letting his gold extend as long as he can. So we've got to pause. I can't tell if this is a psychological thing or legit needs to pause. Nah, it'll be legit. He, he wouldn't psychologically play Sword Puppy like that. Yeah. But honestly, we're just waiting for the inevitable, right? Yeah, I mean, this is 100% way the inevitable. There's, there's no way that Sword Puppy can win. Oh, it looks like Seiso is putting down a, a great, tiny great hall up the top. Or he's building something. He may just be building the expansion. So he's just making it so Soul Puppy cannot win. <laughs> like, like, there's no way. Even if he lost his entire army into his base, he still wins. Oh no, sorry, that wasn't expert. Yeah, it's just a bunch of units. <laughs> yeah, a bunch of units to look like on the on the mini map. Um, so Soul Puppy now sees that he's got this third base. Um, you can just like mass towers, and you can't, uh, Sword Puppy can't do a thing. Yeah, I'm surprised Saw Puppy's staying. He's he's at 50 supply. He's just going to mine out this the rest of this mine at 50 supply, and um, 
and try break up to like 70 food. Not a bad idea. We'll see how, how see how it works out. But you can see Saw Puppy getting those extra um, those extra ziggurats because he's really just waiting to. He thinks he's going to get to 70. Oh no, 80. I don't think he'll get to 80 with 2k. But we'll see how it goes. Yeah, just chilling here. I was just waiting for uh, him to come and expand. Yeah. Does say so should just send his fast here back and build it, get a tiny great hall. And, um... Take the space. Maybe pick up a shredder. I mean, is there any reason for say so to break uh, upkeep and max out, or...? I mean, I, I, I'd say so. I think that if, if Saw Puppy starts to break to 80, then he may as well get to 100. Um, but he should probably bank a bit more money at 80, because it's quite... As you know, you just lose so much gold when you're on. Yeah, he's also really low on lumber for some reason. Yeah, that's that's a problem with, with all... I when you try to get the late game army, it can be quite um, lumber intensive. And the rest of the game has been, you know, you don't really need much lumber. But late game orc, you do need a lot of lumber. I guess a uh, good thing about this wolf, it's just going to check the progress of that gold mine. He'll know when uh, that will exhaust, I guess. Yeah, he's breaking up, keep it now. So yeah, say so is going to 88. Probably just gets yeah, it looks like he's gonna get some shamans and wyverns. It's gonna have an insane army. Yeah, like with with lust and plus three. Oh it's gonna God. be it's gonna be insane. I mean like say so may as well, right? Like why just lose like, or why risk losing? He's just got so many scrolls. I, st I still think he should build some towers up the top. What cause why not, you know, like well, the Acolyte gets there. <laughs> He's probably going to build a gold mine and then... Say so. I, I reckon Say so should just left the weave in there or something. Yeah, for sure. So, probably going to be thinking, what is Say so doing? Well, he knows what he's doing, but... A player's forces are under attack. So, Puppy's a very patient player. <laughs> You'll know this when you play him. He... he He's happy to just sit and wait. I, I couldn't do this if I was him. I'd be like out trying to like nuke shit and losing. Oh, you would have GG'd earlier, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I would have GG'd earlier. So Sace is only going to get two shamans. Oh, it looks like he's just going to hit him. He can't be bothered waiting any longer. Yeah, look at all these. And, it's, and actually, Saw Puppy hasn't spent his gold yet, so... It's gonna be a big, big problem for him. Oh, massive aim move. I mean, it's just too much or can see that sleep's doing a great job against it. Um, but so much stuff. Yeah, it's too much stuff.